Hey everybody out there, it's Alabama Deep and coming back at you. Alright, so we are we are on our way. So we have our tutor, it's ticking along, it's singing its song, and we're going to put it in its case. And then I'm going to enjoy wearing this tutor. So I am now going to cop back up. Let's have my little bit of a break. And we're going to case this watch up. So let's go ahead. get my cots on absolutely gotta get my cots on oh, shit why don't just ruin that cot there we go got most of them back on looks like I gotta replace one it just broke on me well, you know what? This is probably the cleanest case I have ever seen. I've ordered off AliExpress, etc., etc. None, none of them are nearly as clean as this one is. So I gotta make sure that's tapped in. It is. Let me get this down here. I gotta take that out. Uh oh, that's gonna take a little bit of a. Screwdriver to go inside there. There we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and case this baby up. First things first. Let's put that over there nice and easy. We have that put inside. Let's go with a movement ring. Put the movement ring down inside there. All right, let's turn this just around just a little bit, and let's go with Got these little movement ring hooks.
that looks like the correct space for it. So I'm going to flip it on around. To me, that doesn't seem correct. What seems correct is going upside down with it. And those seem like they're a little too long. So, okay. Let's take a little bit closer of a look. So let's try something a little bit smaller. Here we go. Let's go a little bit smaller. So I got different sizes of all. So I got the one that came with the kit would have been correct. Now here's one. It's not as long. It may work. So we're going to put that in there. So we're going to give it a shot with that. That's just a little too long. All right. I'm going to try this one. Perhaps not that one. That one's a little bit, looks a little chewed up for some reason. So let's grab another one. And I need to get this to flip over. There we go. Now that one looks a little too short to me. So I don't think that's going to work.
And let me turn this upside down. See if I can help jar that out. It looks like it's still there. Let's see if I can get it with something else. Looks like I got it with tweezers after all. Okay. So I got to figure something out that's going to work with that. There's got to be something with a proper length. That looks a little too small. Uh, let's see. What can I use? What can I use? What can I use? Get this to flop around and to do what I need it to do. So we can try to get it up in there. I always got to tinker with certain little things. Let me compare it to these other two. No, and you know, this may be the fit. That looks like that's going to be it. So... Let's see if I can get that little screw in there. Get that started. Uh-oh. See how that's going to look on the other side? Don't like that. Okay. Try this again. All right. We have this put down properly. Okay. Right. 
Now, I've always felt like those little clips should go and uh, join to the edge of everything. But, okay, let's just say that they don't. I've always felt like that they should, though. Uh, okay. Guess I'll uh, think on that for a moment because I gotta get that fit. Guess I could just join it across the movement ring and not to the case itself, see so and see what it does. But I always thought that it was supposed to join up to that. So, you know, say that I'm right or wrong or whatever, but that's what I've always assumed. All right, so I guess I would go ahead and do the stem for right now. And I am going to take just a wee bit off of it. No, not like a terribly whole lot. Just a wee bit. Something about like this, maybe. All right, so I got a little bit of that cut off. And let me get out my old sanding stick. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on here. Guess is what I will do. I've always hated putting these wanting, wanting these crowns on with these latex glove cots on. Never have cared for that much. Uh, looks like that's going. And uh, I have a little special tool that I like to use when I'm wanting a stem on. Let me show you what I like using. Uh, my wife gave me these. She can't use them. Let's use these. And I'm going to put it on about like that for right now. Not too tight, not too loose. There you go. For, for right now, that's going to be good. I just want a base of what I'm doing here. Yeah, it's working pretty good. All right, so... Let me get back to where I was and try to mount this sucker in there. Okay, so let's see what we're going to do. Well, I'll go with that. That's what I'll go with. Oops. I'll go with that. Okay. I'll go with that. Let me tilt, turn it on over. Let me go to the other side. And if I'm not mistaken, there is one more screw that I've got to use. 
for this. And let me just have a look, see around. Yep, there it is over there. Okay, perfect. I didn't lose that one. Okay, so I got one more area to apply this. So let me get my uh, thingamadoo out. <laughs> I see where that's going. So let me get my tip. I think my tip will work better grabbing a hold of that hole than letting it go anywhere else. And whoops, there it goes. It just kind of went on its way there you go That's in there. I get my little screw. Bye bye, and it goes flying, flying along, but I got plenty. So I'm not worried, I've got more. Wowzers, look at that strip. I put no weight on that at all. <laughs> oh no, not my statement. There it goes. I just lost it. There you are. Come here, you. Okay, it's out. Uh, let me show you what has happened. You're using these little crappy screws. You're going to have heads fall off. And I just had a head fall off. But lucky for me,
It's not even in there tight. I don't believe anyway. Yeah, I can I can get that out. See, and I'm working the problem. I think it's loose enough now it'll come out on its own. Got it out. See the issues? You see it in the palm of my hand. Right there. It's right here. That stripped out, fell out. It almost got stuck in my movement. That was like zero pressure applied. And I'm finding that to happen more and more and more with these screws that I'm using. So I don't know what's up with that. But I don't like it. I don't like it at all. And that's a... Wow. It's just... Wow. Um, yeah. And these are kind of the issues you're going to have when you get into this watchmaking. you got to remain calm. you got to think your priorities through on what your choices are and then move on and in my particular case this movement ring and screws have just been a little bit of an issue to work with that one screw severed at the head and it's not supposed to do that at all but nonetheless it did it anyway Now, I don't know why they're doing that. I have not come up with a good answer for that yet. I don't know why it's doing it. But they are doing it. And I don't know if I got a bad packet or what. But it's happening more and more and more. That I'm going to have to buy some new ones. And not get the same kind. I think the ones I have are defective. So I'm moving on to a different screw. That I have not had that issue with. And so I'm going to tighten this one down. Okay, I've noticed that that ring is being kind of a pain. See, now it's gone down. It's been a huge pain in the butt. 
And now I'm trying to turn this around. Now that looks like that's going to fit just fine. So let me try to put this in right. I kind of shovel it by its head and help scoot it around till it matches up to the hole. And then just put it in there nice and easy. Line that up. I'm not going to put it in hard because that just looks like that's an issue. Okay. Jesus, Jehoshaphat. Okay, so that looks good. I do want to investigate this. We may have to go to a part three on this because of all the little issues that we've been having right here. I don't know. I don't think so because that's in there. Okay, I don't think we are. I think that's going to be fine. That looks great. All right, so let's go ahead and let's put the uh, coating of uh, silicone onto this watch. This is going to be for the back gasket. This build is almost complete. And man, it was almost a build I lost. Thanks to those damn uh, back screw, ring, uh, ring movement screws, back screws for the movement. Um, I almost lost it. I almost had to uh, have to improvise. And yes, I, I, I could improvise. Onto this. But improvising is something that I would not want to really do. All right. So this is in. I now have to make that the proper height. So even mashing in. I'm going to cut some more off that screw. Everything's in place. Okay, so let me back this. I'm going to put the cover over it just to help it right now. And uh, let's back off this and let's cut it. Let's cut it a little bit more than what I did. Because what I did, uh, it was just a little teeny tiny taste. Uh, we're going to need to do a lot more. All right, so I'm going to back that off. I like these little clips because you can't lose your stems. All right, so I'm going to cut it off a little bit more to about right here. Very good. Now I'm going to sand it with my sanding stick off, off camera. You always want to do that because if you don't, then uh, you could mess up the threads on the inside of your crown and it's going to eat it up. Okay, so that's good. Click that down a little bit more. I want to tighten this down about right there. All right, now let's see what we got with the crown on this.
Yeah, use my screwdriver. Boy, we're having a little bit of this and a little bit of that today, ain't we? Bring this out on the edge. I'm gonna take my cots off because we're pretty much done with this. And I would like to feel this go in for sure. Because once this is in, then this is pretty much it for the build. I know with this, it can get a little stuck. See how it wants to stop? It wants to start back up. Okay, let's put a little bit of oil onto it. I think that's what it's going to need ultimately, anyway. It's a little bit of oil. There we go. Now that's just plum interesting. Alright. I'll put the back on this for a second. And I got I may have to fill with this off camera just get it to where I want it to be and that's a big possibility and a lot of this I can't do if I'm on camera because the camera's right in the middle of my way so there's a good possibility I'm gonna have to insert the stem off camera so it'll work correctly that's what I'm thinking but when we do come back we're going to have a finished watch build. That's for sure. So, okay. I think I'm up to 30 minutes anyway. So, let me go ahead 
let me stop what I'm doing and uh, let me see what I can do to finish this up. I'm going to have to problem shoot that stem going into the movement. And it's done it before. Sometimes on the 2024 Chinese movements, they'll get stuck. And you just have to lubricate them in trial and error again and again and again. And then you will eventually uh, get it right. It will snap in and it'll start working like it should. So it shouldn't be an issue. I just got to get it done. And I'll probably do so off camera. But so far, this is this is the build that we've got. And this doesn't really look bad at all. This looks mighty fine, actually. And we've had a couple, couple, couple uh, areas where it has almost been a disaster. Uh, first, a screw break. First, the movement ring doesn't want to go in correctly. It wants to be a little bastard. And next thing you know, uh, we have a screw break off. The head breaks off of it, that is. That take it out of the balance since it falls into the balance. Then I take the rest of the screw out and now we have to work on the stem. Definitely a little bit of a problem build, but hey, that's good for everybody out there that watches these videos because you know what you need to do when that happens. And like I've said, just stop, don't panic, think things through, and then problem solve it. Uh, kind of never force it, never force it, and you know, that's with a stem, I'm not going to force it. I'm going to work it, lubricate it, press it, see if the, uh, see if the uh, little extra lubrication is what it needs. A lot of the times, it just stamps right back, 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 back in after several times of trying to do it. Uh, so that's what I'm going for on this, and it should be just fine. So that's what I'm going to do. So, guys and gals, I'll be right back. I'm going to upload part two. Finally up, I'm going to show you the finished product on it, and then we're going to water test it uh, and my setup over here, and I'll show you what I do with that when we come back.